everyone, and welcome to D and D with Christiosity. It is me, Christy. I am the host, but we are, oh, as always, here because of the time spent in preparation and hard work by our dungeon mistress, Christiosity, and uh, the other players who would come along to have a good time. So we're gonna jump right. As distracted as we are by uh, Biden being declared president elect, we're gonna jump right back into a fantasy world where there are no elections being held, <laughs> but there is a you continent. Get rid of tyrants by beating them up. Yes, that's all you have to do. Uh, so. So yes, um, traditionally, Micro will do the wrap, uh, the review of what we did last time. So well, last time on the corruption of Lyru, we we uh, we finally arrive at the at the temple mm -hmm. of the White Eagle. That's what it was called, right? Uh, did I misremember? I don't know. <laughs> Something with an eagle. Temple of the White Eagle. It's, it's, it's been a long time. Um, <laughs> the White Eagle. Yes. Yeah, I, did, I did not misremember it. We finally arrived at it um, to find that it's uh, most of its in previous inhabitants uh, and rightful inhabitants had been uh, driven out and were not doing too well in a cave. Um, but there was a secret entrance which we followed and we encountered some slight resistance and we took care of, we got up there, and we encountered more resistance. But not after making a sort of... Not after being offered the shittiest deal in the world. <laughs> by a demon, right? By, by, a, by, a, by a devil. Yes. Not a demon. Um, and uh, we didn't accept it. And so we had to, uh, to send the uh, devil back to... Uh, back to the... Hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> back yeah. back to the bad to a bad place where they belong. And after we did that, the rest of them like scampered and scattered. So uh, yeah, that's it was it was mostly battle last time. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we uh, yes. yes, it was a very difficult battle as well because we never faced a flying opponent before. I don't know in this game, or at least it's been a while. We so. have, we have, yeah, on the bridge. Yes, yeah. on the bridge. Uh, and then um, we we healed some people up, and we were pretty beaten up ourselves. I went, mm -hmm. I, yeah, Elizabeth actually went down. It's pretty hard to get her to. I went down to twice. Zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it was a tough battle, but we managed to survive. And then and we're offered a very very welcomed rest. Uh, an opportunity yes. for rest. So, I think that's about it. Yeah, that sounds right to me. So, okay. Yeah. So, uh, after a long and well deserved rest, you wake up to the to a lovely misty morning up here, high in the mountain peaks. You can hear the sound of gentle chimes as uh, many of the uh, priests and, and members of the temple are um, heading about their morning prayers. Um, there's a smell of, of breakfast on the air, uh, probably a vegetarian breakfast <laughs> by the smell of it. And what do you want to do? Uh, so are we in our rooms at the moment, or, or what? You were offered a, ro um, a room together. This is not, you know, this isn't a palatial estate. This yeah, is made that, very yeah, simple that's, that's and, fair. Um, but it was still a, a lovely, um, if simple, uh, it, it was a lovely place. You know, that there's um, a beautiful view out your window of just the sky and the mountains all around you. Um, there's uh, right now somewhat uh, obscured by mist, but as of last evening, there were beautiful uh, bright stars, some of the uh, best stargazing that you can get here in okay, London. yeah. In that in that case, Erasmus would definitely have um, he would have spent part of the night wandering like the bridges and looking at uh, the sky, the stars and stuff. So as the others wake up, he will come back in. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so um, Elspeth um, hasn't done a, a mushroom check lately um, in this part because we were too busy getting here. So if breakfast isn't ready, she would like to go and have a little wander in the forest. And if it is ready, she will wait and have her little mushroom reconnaissance mission after breakfast. Uh, if you check with the um, with the other monks, they say it's not quite ready, but it will be in, in minutes by the time... Uh, you were to go wander off, you would have, uh, <laughs> you would already be missing it. So okay, well, I'll hang around. I'll do a nature check then after, after All we right. eat. So. Okay, that's what she's doing. Okay. Blue uh, reverence. Um, I mean, if we don't have time, plus, plus, uh, for more than just breakfast, then breakfast it is. Yeah. Same. All right, so you have um, a breakfast of uh, sort of a barley stew um, with herbs, and um, it's nice and warm and flavorful, uh, and a lovely tea mm. with the scent of jasmine upon it. Hmm. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a quiet meal. Um, there's a little low talking, and, and you you notice that um, some of the people around you, you know, they're they're still in various degrees of being injured. You know, some of their injuries are going to take a long time and and some effort um, to heal, but uh, they seem in uh, much better spirits than when you met them earlier in the cave. Okay. Well, I'm going to cast Goodberry and go ahead and to the people who are the most injured, I'm going to hand out a Goodberry to them. Uh, they bow and thank you and take the Goodberry. Okay. There we go. Uh, Reverence, is there more information or more discussions or something else that we, I mean, we rescued the temple. Um, we had an interesting negotiations. Is there um, more people we should talk to about what's been going on here or meet with anyone? I need to speak to Cedric um, about personal matters. And well, just, you know, when I was younger, it was a long time ago. I'm as a child last time I was here. And I don't think I appreciated the uh, depth of the archives that take place in this, or uh, are kept here. I think I'd like to look over them. Oh, well, if you need help, oh, I've got some background idea. in archiving. And after I do my little mushroom explorations, if I can be of any assistance, just let me know. If you know it Absolutely. best, and or you have experts, you know, they'll know their own archives. But anything I can I do. Think I'll ask. I'll, I'll get you when I go look for it. Okay. And just to see the place again. I think I'll take a walk. Sure. It's Blue, do you want a tour? Night. Sorry, what? Do you want a tour? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I <laughs> do want a tour. Then I'll give you a tour. <laughs> So, uh, Blue and <laughs> and Reverence, are, Reverence is going to give Blue a tour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, follow along. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll start with you then, Elspeth. Yep. Uh, when you start to head up the mountain, uh, one of the uh, younger monks, um, uh, you know, acts kind of concerned and says, oh, there are some dangers out there. Perhaps one of us should come with you. Oh, well, that would be wonderful. You probably also know the local flora and fauna better than anyone, better than I could. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, um, I can get um, I, I can get Brother Jespin. He's very good with uh, with the plants. Oh, excellent. That's his specialty. So Great. he goes off and, and um, yeah, comes back with an old dwarf with a very um, kind of sunburnt face. One of those old sunburn, like a sunburn that he's probably had for the last 30 years. Oh, like, so it's, it's like leather. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, like his skin's been tan. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, that sort of Irish, Scottish, they don't actually mm. scan, so they just <laughs> go red. <laughs> stay red forever, you know. <laughs> so he's got that look about him. Uh, but he brings you up, he's very uh friendly. Uh, he asks uh, you all about your uh, travels and your interest in the plant life. Yeah, again, regale him with, um, you know, what we've learned from different parts of, of Lyroon and get out my notes and talk about the other effects um, that people have, that I've met along the way of different parts of the country and uh, see if anything, you know, sort of like strikes him if he finds anything particular interest. Um, he's interested in all of it okay. and he looks over mm -hmm. your notes and he's nodding away and, and says yes yes we stay in our own area but we have truly seen the effects of the corruption growing and spreading even here uh, the further away from the temple of course the worse it gets uh, strange growths tumors sprouting on animals and trees and uh, mm -hmm. just a bizarre fungal growths it's quite disturbing to see you know we've had to really uh have a lot of maintenance to keep even our own gardens uh free of these taints so uh let's uh, if we can head past the garden and this takes it's gonna take you a few hours to do okay. this but if you'd like to run a nature check we can sure. see how I you could do it because um because he's there, you can do it with advantage. Yay, I was kind of hoping you'd say that. <laughs> 16. All right. Um, you find uh, quite a few, like, it's a little harder to find mushrooms on top of a mountain. Mm. He assures you that there would be a lot more, you know, sort of further down you go. But there are definitely some in some of the cooler areas. Um, under trees, mm -hmm. and they are scrawny and misshapen. Um, there is a kind of a bluish puffball. You haven't seen anything quite like that before. Yeah, I remember the yellow uh, puffball. I'm not going to go near that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, I'll draw it from a distance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there's a very tall uh, mushroom with a sort of a slender stalk that is a greenish color that is sort of covered with, it almost looks like warts mm. on it. And there's a foul odor coming from them. Um, there are also some mushrooms, again, that look like they would be edible and uh, actually... Uh, Jensen starts sort of scooping them up. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, "Yeah, these are still good eating, uh, but they are not—they're not plentiful. They're here, they're there, mm -hmm. and that's sort of the best that you get." Okay. Yep. She'll make uh, notes on all of this and yeah, be very grateful for his expertise. So. Okay. Yeah. Nice walk in the woods, in the corruption. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I stroll through the corruption. Yeah. Um, and as far as the uh, as the tour, Reverence, if you want to uh, talk about where you take them and what you show them, and absolutely. So the first thing Reverence does is he takes them. Um, he gives them the generic, like here's the mess hall, here's the temple of prayer, here's and then after he's done with that, he's like, all right, but really, come with me. And I take them up the hill or up the, the, the stairs to the like the grove area before the temple. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I spent most of my time here. And uh, as a child, they often had to come find me. I always made it a game to try and hide. I was never the greatest hider, as you can kind of guess, but I always did. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place over here, though, and I take them uh, into the grove where there are like several like small, I want to call them campsites that are like hidden 
He goes, I don't know if they knew I knew I had all these, but I would <laughs> often take things from the temple and hide them out here as like a little place to be away. And uh, I'll show them that and I'll show them like weird things that I have picked up and wondering this area as a kid. You know, this over here is that's that pond where there's like some kind of weird looking fish living in it and stuff like that. <laughs> huh. That seems yeah. nice. I'll show them the elk horror herds too. Oh. 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 I, I, I don't like know what elk. season it is. What season is it in game? Um, it is headed towards autumn at this oh. point. Well, then they'd be coming out of the mountains at this point to, like, rest in the groves. Um, and they'd be in herds of large amounts of female deer with one or two males with huge horns. Hmm. They are quite majestic looking. Um, the, the males tend to eye you um, like hmm. But, you know, there's obviously no signs of aggression um, as long as you don't come too near them or decide to mess with them in any way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it is, they're sort of doing their thing, getting ready to get their uh, mm -hmm. annual party on, shall we say. <laughs> 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 Potty animals. Yes. Anyway, there wasn't a whole lot that I had, but I did have this, and I kind of show the I'm like sweet towards the elk. I'm like, and I did watch them a lot. Hmm. It was kind of a fun thing to do. Um, I used to be able to get really close to them. I don't know that these are the same males. Males, though. Oh, I mean, I bet I could get real close to them. Oh, I'm sure you could. You'd also probably get charged, but yeah. <laughs> they can't hear me. I don't know what's do it. Can I tame an elk? How long does it take to tame an elk? Reverence. <laughs> <laughs> They're wild animals. There's no real breeding in them to be tamed, so you could mm -hmm. probably get one to be docile if you were calm enough and fed it well enough, but otherwise it's not going to be a tame animal. No, that's okay. I got button. Button's good. Button? Button's the, the horse. Oh, yes. The yeah. horse. The horse. Anyway, I'll give them the rest of the tour. I spend most of the morning with them, showing them different things about the temple itself and maybe even anything that I actually recall about the history of it, <laughs> which is probably not much. Uh, you can roll a history check. Sure. That's a straight D20. You, um, you know, you remember a little more than you thought you would. You know, some of those old lessons that you you kind of remembered and never quite paying attention to seem to have stuck. But at the same time, you know, it's a good thing that there uh, none of the priests or anyone is here to listen to because they probably would be slapping themselves in the head. Um, <laughs> well, who's fault you... all this and who told him? <laughs> I was unteachable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I took a lot more of an active man to teach me, and that's, that's why I ended up leaving. Mm. I was better at swinging a sword than writing in a scroll. Uh, at one point, you do see the White Eagle. That is where this uh, temple gets its name. Um, there are, in fact, White Eagles that roost nearby. Um, and you see one flying overhead. They're territorial birds. So they don't exactly enjoy being all that close to each other. But there's always... Uh, one or two about in the general area. So we probably feed them too. Mm. Dru druids being as they are. Mm. Yeah. All right. But once that's done, I'm going to head towards the archive. Okay. Uh, so you head down uh, and 
Let's see. I'll get Nell Smith as well, wherever they are. Um, or I can now. Yeah, I'll head there. I'll head to the archive as soon as I get back from the the talk, the walk. By the time can... everybody gets back, it's been a few hours, and it's probably going on um, the middle of the day. Um, so uh, Jensa goes off to deliver uh, the herbs and the mushrooms you found on your walk to the kitchen, and um, yeah, you head to the archives. Uh, there's a young person there right now. Um, sort of uh, just out front there is uh you can hear others in the back but from what you have seen walking around during the day most of the uh, most of the uh, people in the temple are looking at making sure that there are um needed repairs where you know the imps had been um, doing some purification rituals. Some of them are just resting up and doing some healing. So there is uh, there is um, the one young man is sort of saying, well, we wanted to make sure nobody uh, was messing with the, the archives and nothing is missing. Uh, so far, so good. But uh, I expect it to be a while before we know for sure. Uh, what can we help you guys with? Well, uh, I looked at Elspeth and I go, there's been quite a bit going on. You can kind of guess, having lived through some of that already yourself. Um, we've we've seen much more. In fact, there's almost an endless trove of horror awaiting us. And, well, this temple is very old. I figured... There has to be something, surely, that is here that isn't anywhere else, right? Yes. I mean, it, certainly if there's going to be some mentions of things that happened a thousand years ago and it's been here that long, then maybe they had an historian or someone who took down information at the time. Um, I turned to the person who's managing it, the young man, and said, uh, do you have um, any information on fill-in time period minus the current date? <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um. <laughs> or also um, anything uh, tracking down um, the activities of an orcus or the corruption back when it first emerged. Um, he stops and thinks a moment and then says, uh, you know, I could get archivist Helios to help you. So he goes and he calls back. Um, archivist. <laughs> and after a few minutes, uh, a an elven gentleman. Uh, he doesn't look old, but that's you know elves. Mm -hmm. um, elves often don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he has um, dark skin, uh, kind of a deep cocoa brown, um, and black hair. Um, he sort of bows to you and says, "What can I do for you?" Uh, yes, we're looking for information that might have been kept in a contemporaneous way um, in time period a, a long yeah, ago, yeah. Um, especially as regards the corruption, its emergence, uh, the negotiations or the adventurers who helped, who were sent off to deal with it, um, how anything about the gaze that they developed, um, anything about maybe an island appearing in the seas to the north, um, or the involvement of the evil god Orcus, um, mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. along those lines would be great. Okay, so and I'll says, assist her in whatever she needs to do. He says, "Well, that's that's quite a lot. Um, I can bring you back to the uh, section that uh, is." is there so if you want to go um and look through for um what i'll have you do is i'll have you um look first for corruption emergence okay all right so you can roll uh 
you know, history or investigation, you know, whatever is really yeah, sort of six of one or half. You. I get the same bonus, but I get do I get, mm -hmm. well, get it with advantage because of Reverence's help? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ten. Yeah. Um, uh, you find things, but unfortunately, there's no new information here. Um, so you spend about an hour to find out about what you already know. Um, How about a religion check? Better All right, go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm better at those. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, see, so the religious wise, religion wise, the emergence of the corruption was a time of um, a splintering of religions. In fact, it was the time where um, uh, some of the biggest fights happened with the Dwarven Society. Uh, they were, uh, as you know, there was sort of an argument between the Meridian Dwarves and the Helvacker Dwarven Society that that schism between those two pantheons of God, the one being more traditional and the other being a, sort of a Norse type of uh, grouping of deities. Not that that would be a word you would know, but mm -hmm. uh, they're two separate um, pantheons, really. And there were some fights. Uh, the Meridian dwarves tended to just lose a lot of their religious obsession over time. Though Helvacker has grown only stronger with the emergence of the corruption and with it uh, going along, uh, there seems to be uh, yeah, it's hard to talk about uh, to find out exactly why two groups of people would have two separate uh, belief systems going out. There were also quite a few uh, cults of evil. Uh, mm. You find uh, Orcus mentioned several times. You find a cult of um, uh, void walkers. Void as in them. V O I D yeah, like, walkers. Yes, ah. void walkers. That sounds uh, bad. <laughs> um, these are. These, uh, the Void Walkers were more mysterious and complicated. You even find a, um, a, me um, a reference to the One Eyed Prince uh, that, you know, going all the way back to your uh, misadventures in villages in. Um, uh, sorry, I'm blanking on names again. Um, the the jeweled eye, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that village there, that the blue, the name. blue, the uh, uh, mm -hmm. yes. Um, so you see that there were a lot of uh, very nasty cults as, and the further along that the um, that the corruption sort of grew and grew, the more they became. Uh, they just proliferated, and there were some real atrocities that you get to read about now, which are quite awful, um, that were carried out in the names of various dark or evil gods in the hopes of maybe currying favor so that as the corruption spread, they could get, you know, um, they would be overlooked or what have you. At least I'm more safe. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. survive. <laughs> right. Um, and is there anything else? Do I get like an investigation on anything else? I know that's just kind of a religion yeah. stuff, yeah. but okay. So, um, so that's the corruption emergence um, between, and that probably took a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. um, so now you have the uh, the group that went out, and also. Um, the gaze? Yes. Okay. So the group that went out, the trip, and the gaze. Okay. 
All right, so go ahead and roll, um, well, roll history or investigation with advantage. Okay, well, I'll try it. I didn't do very well in history last time, even though it's the exact same rule, but I'll try investigation this time. Yay, yeah, better. All right, yes. All right, so, um, there's a list of all the people, and let me, now I'm going to have to go look back in my... <laughs> I know what that's like now. I've got a binder, I've got a project notebook with tabs on it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yours is probably better than mine. All right. So, got but it. I will... Go back, it's over here somewhere. You can talk amongst yourselves for a minute if you want. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm wondering if um maybe it would be worth it to bring up the void the next time we see the doomsayers and oh. see if anybody reacts. Oh. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Didn't we need to no, add a character? Didn't we need to talk to somebody about, about Erasmus? Oh, about, at some point, yeah, we were going yeah, to... Yeah, we kind of need to Erasmus not being there. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure that as a group, we don't forget that we need, we need, we need to have a conversation about yeah, Erasmus. Yeah, we still have, have our film. intervention. Yeah. And I already have a strategy for if, he, if Erasmus finds out. <laughs> <laughs> I have been giving this a lot of thought. Good. I guess it has been a couple of weeks since we told you we're going to work yeah. on getting you a divorce. Well, the, the only the only thing the thing that's really going to suck is that because I'm going to go, uh, if you manage to do it, I am going to go with the uh, pyromancy uh, man um, subclass for sorcerer, and that oh. makes my. <laughs> That makes my feed completely pointless because you get basically get that feed for free. <laughs> oh, well. That's it. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, we just have All to right. make sure we introduce him to like a, a fire god with fire. That would be the first thing. <laughs> Whatever. It is. Well, if we go for sorcery, where are we going to go with like finding like the inner dragon of Erasmus? Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. All right. Is his inner, his inner flame? Mm -hmm. Well, was, the power was all, was always inside of you, Erasmus. Yeah, <laughs> I have a, like the whole like the reason like the the more reason why Erasmus is a pyromaniac is because he's a red kobold, but he wasn't like he was re he was effectively okay. like his parents like his biological parents would be in a dra like red dragon cult. Oh, okay, so it's basically like mis oh, misdirected right. um, attention. Oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Like he man. So, it's, it's probably why it's probably why Blue is also like a terrible monk because he's really not supposed to be one. <laughs> yeah. Raised by humans. Humans don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, now the last time you had sort of looked this up, you had gotten the names of the main people um, that were there, mm -hmm. uh, which. You may still have. I, I don't know if you want me to go down them again. If you could, because I actually didn't take proper notes. And if I've yeah, got a book in do. front of me. We're, we sure. realize how complicated this story is. So we did, we're yes. taking better notes now. <laughs> okay. So um, you have... Uh, it was Queen Namila Lorywise. She was the one who died along with Roland. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zondag Zircodes. Here, I can write this down in the okay. chat too. Uh, was the uh, representative of. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Um, was the representative of Strakoi. All right, yeah. I have to explain Get, all um, this, the sets. <laughs> um. Prince Grayton. That's a good name. Uh, 
And it's hard to read my writing. Ice, ice. I, I think that's. Oh my God, I can't read my name, my writing. Ice, ice, breath? Ice breaker? Ice breaker. Oh, I remember this person. Um, ice. Where are my notes? I had notes on this person. Oh. Okay. I think I have to find in my five thousand notebooks. Never ever tell your family <laughs> members that you really like to write because all you ever get gifted for the rest of your life are notebooks. All right, and then you so... have a crap ton. <laughs> so okay. what you're saying is that what you should wish for the, uh, for Christmas this year is some kind of archiving system. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right, uh, that was Prince Azul Liaison. Um, is from from amongst the elves. And Andrew. The white pro mod from Moradia. Okay. What was Roland's last name? Uh, Roland. Also Roland. <laughs> Roland Roland. No, I have that on a different. Okay, page. that's I fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was going uh, for like a, my my the alternative joke was gonna be down a hill. All right, I need to fix obviously <laughs> my, my notes. Here. Yeah, that's okay. It's, that's good. If we that's get more of the one. narrative, we can get the note names in later. Yeah, I realized yeah. I should have gone with the alternative joke. All right, I appreciated so, it. Thank you. Um, So, you know, uh, what you learn now is that there was quite a lot of fighting and arguing between these groups. And it sort of came down to um, Zondag, Zircodes, um, and Andrew Fromod on one side, um, Queen Namila and Prince Grayton on the other, and in between it was sort of Prince Azul Leison trying to get them together to make some sort of decision. Okay. Oh. Um, what the uh, Zircodes and Andrew the White were really very rigid people, and they um, were all about do, do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to stop or slow down the corruption, we've got to do it. Um, and they had some uh, rather extreme ideas, some of which involved um, releasing magical forces that could have uh, caused massive death um, in order to sort of stop and spread. Uh, on the other hand, um, on the other side, Grayton and Namila argued that, first of all, they had no way of knowing if those things would even work. Um, so, and they doubted it. And also, you know, that, <sighs> that killing people in order to stop the spread of something that was killing people is is just sort of, it gets you nowhere. They the should do justify the end. Yeah. So there was uh, quite a bit of uh, arguing when they eventually went in. Uh, all of them brought different uh, groups with them, uh, people who were wise or people who were, you know, you name it. Um, but this seemed to, uh, this seemed to, if anything, just add more arguing to the group. You know, the more people that came in, the more opinions and people just convinced that they knew the right way. And it was um, with a lot of pomp and circumstance, but frankly, the uh, the person that you are reading 
who was in charge of the temple at the time, kind of doubted that they would be able to get anything done because they couldn't stop fighting with each other long enough to mm. agree on so much as breakfast. Um, so they, when they came out, are you talking about Chattanooga leftist? Are you talking about this game? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's. Oh. Sorry. I'm talking about all leftists everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, You're talking about people in general. Yeah, I'm talking about people in general because they were not at all. Um, uh, some of them were. Like, you couldn't really apply left and right necessarily to this group, but. Uh, they were sort of all over whatever that would have meant to them. Um, uh, you know, as far as more authoritarian people or more um, we should let the people decide kind of people or, you know, whatever. The, the whole range was there. Mm. Um, it's not, there's a lot, and the um, the people who are taking down these these logs uh, grow increasingly frustrated as uh, they talk about as soon as they came out, which it was several months they were in there. There was just a. It seemed like the fighting had stopped, and the corruption had stopped. But there seemed to be a lack of transparency about what happened, mm. um, a refusal to open up about exactly the processes. Um, there were some strange rumors about the death of Queen Namila, um, but nobody was really talking, uh, and you know, you it was impossible to know what was a conspiracy theory and what was actually true. Uh, so that is what you find there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, anything? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. And also about the gaze itself. Mm -hmm. um, the, the people, again, that you are reading the old um, blogs on our vit were... This is a group that was, um, because of its freedom, was allowed to speak... So you are, for the first time, hearing about people who are, frankly, um, not buying it. Okay. They, they felt that this was um, a stopgap measure. It seemed empty. Um, the people who were putting it out seemed more interested in making sure that their power was consolidated than they were about making sure that they had actually done anything that would have a lasting, um, but, but at the same time, the corruption had stopped. It had worked, but there was a, they are openly doubtful that this could last. And uh, putting in that, you know, it, it required people to behave themselves forever in order for it to continue to work and people don't do that <laughs> like mm -hmm. you know as long as you can stay peaceful forever as you I mean, as people thousand years, thousand years is a pretty good record for it's staying a pretty good people. run yeah but, uh... <laughs> i think that uh, it's clear that the people who are writing this would have been surprised it lasted as long as it did <laughs> yeah uh, but even with that, it's uh, it, it's also pretty clear that, you know, there were some people who saw the flaw mm -hmm. here that this was open to abuse and it was open to just failing. And then what would you do? You'd be right back where you started from. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hang on one second, please. Yeah. Mm. Uh, right. Well. Take down the system. I found a way to keep myself from clicking on Twitter. I was like, God damn it, I gotta stop I trying know. to click on Twitter. So I, I'm putting miniatures together. There you yeah. go. Keep your uh, devil's yeah. idle hands of the devil's playthings. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> while, while you were while you were in the archive, I made the great mistake of going on Discord and found 
<laughs> a meme that's just if you're happy and you know it, and then just a picture of a of like a wood clam and a big ham. Oh, <laughs> clam oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the that is the most you joke. <laughs> I've had to mute several times because I just stop myself from laughing. <laughs> I should never have gone and put my phone away now. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and you also wanted to know about the island. Yeah, if, if there's any record of the island popping up in the yeah. North Sea. Okay. I was thinking. <laughs> um, go uh, roll, um, roll history or religion. You could roll, roll religion for this Oh, for one. Orcus. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Much better. Oh, uh, shoot. I... That was nature. Sorry. I can't spell. Oh. I don't uh, know. I, have, same, I don't know same. what the alphabet is. I don't know what the alphabet bonus. is. 16. It's the same bonus. So oh, it yeah. wouldn't matter. Yeah. But you uh, know that it's labeled. <laughs> <laughs> it is labeled, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um well that's a success anyway. Uh, regardless. Mm. So uh you find out a lot of what you already knew. However, you are also um you see the very first uh, indications of somebody talking about the box, as you've come to think about it, um, uh, which they call uh, a very uh, a great danger. Uh, it's sort of talked about in a way that um, that they're sort of talking around it rather than talking of it. Uh, so something that they were aware of, which was an object of, uh, they describe it as an object of power, but its power seemed to be the ability to absorb pow others' power mm. rather than to um, have any power for itself. And it, they were as befuddled about it, as far as you can see, as you were. Um, but at least now you know that this has been around since since that time. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's a useful to know. Yeah, at least that means that it's not like it wasn't like made two weeks ago when they or while we're long like when they started making the temple or like getting it going again. Like so it's not like it's immediately gonna consume the world. Yeah, that's true. It's not a black hole. <laughs> yeah, like like it could have been made like when they actually started to rebuild the temple. And like be really, really powerful and do the thing really, really quickly. Or it could have been brought from somewhere else. That's true. Yeah. Point is, it's probably not gonna kill us all mm. immediately. Probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, is there like, no a chance? <laughs> <laughs> um, um. I ask Reverence, is there anything else that he thinks we should look up? Anything I missed? Um. Hmm. No, not particularly. I just figured I'd show you the archive, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we know that the gaze is a bit dodgy. We know that there was a rise of cults. Um, yeah, there was a lot of... Okay, all right. I mean, doesn't help us. Well, it might help us. Who knows? Um, but we... Yeah, well, let's let's head out and find the others and maybe have a bit of a conversation. Uh, while while they were all doing library stuff, because Blue is terrible at library stuff, um, is it cool if Blue just sits outside and plays with his lock and rope nonsense? Yeah, yeah go for it. Roll on uh, dexterity. Rope lock nonsense, go. Fourteen. Okay, starting to get the hang of it. You haven't quite gotten it yet. Um, you know you can do better, but it's a start. You know, you're at least getting the feel of it as you sort of throw it around. Um, you don't quite have the, um, the ability to make sure you know where it's going to land when you throw it out, but... <laughs> 
you've got, you know, you're starting to get that muscle memory going. So. Right. Okay. While, while he does that, Erasmus, remembering that last time he got the impression that doing warlock shit in within the confines of the temple probably wouldn't be appreciated. He's going to go like a little ways out um, from the temple and he's going to burn a couple pages to uh, and like basically. Uh, if you leave the temple, somebody is going to come up to you. <laughs> And um, and ask to <laughs> can I can I ask to what? Ask can I help you? And can we go? And oh, I'm I'm just going for I'm just going uh, for a quick quick walk. Oh, but there are dangers out here, little man. I, I, I can defend myself. I'm I, I'm I... much much more dangerous than I look. <laughs> Surely a little bit of um, of company would not be amiss. No, actually, actually I think <laughs> it's but no, I'm I, I actually like I want look when you when you're when you're adventuring, you're always with someone. It, it gets it gets to you. So sometimes it's nice to just like be alone. You get you do uh, roll uh, persuasion. <laughs> or deception. <laughs> roll perception. Yeah, no, roll perception. Uh, eventually, they, you know, they uh, they sort of begrudgingly let you off by yourself, but they they tell you definitely uh, be be in before uh, it starts to grow dark. Definitely, you know, make sure you're back by dinner and all of that. Oh, sure. Right. Oh. I'm gonna go up and find a plot and spot, and I am gonna burn a couple of pages. And basically, I like since the whole um, basically ask like my patron what they think, like what they think of this whole temple thing, and especially what they their like in, insights on the um, the devils and the contract and all that. Uh, roll religion. Uh. Um, a feeling of almost frustration. You know, you see sort of sparks and puffs of smoke is coming out of your uh, burnt page, and you just get that that feeling that. Um, First of all, uh, when you ask about the temple, it's clear that there's no interest in the temple. Like, this is not their place. There's no fires here. You can't light anything on fire because you're going to die. You know, it's just a ridiculous yeah, place. I agree. Okay. Um, so then you get... Um, and then as far as the... It's kind of hard to tell, but like there's a feeling of almost lost opportunity that you get oh. from from them. You know, you don't you wouldn't have expected them to be like totally against <laughs> you know, they they're not the kind of um fiends that are against other fiends so it's clear that they probably if anything would it... be like why didn't you go for it you know you had a perfect opportunity there mm. yeah. they aren't really so like i'm assuming i get the impression that they aren't really involved in the whole like demons and devil war as much uh or is my role not high enough for that your role isn't high enough for th enough. for that specific. That's that is fair. Um, so, um, it's more like you could have. You I know, could have gained more power. You could have had more power. You could. Well, have, I, um, yeah, this this could have further our cause of setting the world up at least. That's fair. <laughs> All right, well, I return. Okay. Like, after the like, Let me go for a walk, actually. Like, 
like not like probably not out there more than like an hour and a half. Um, roll survival. Oh, no. <laughs> we never saw him again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're able to try to sort of walk around and still find your way back. You don't get, you know, lost or confused or anything like that. Oh. And yeah, that's pretty much. That's cool. Pretty much well, it. Um, by the one. by, the time you come back, it's time for a communal dinner, and. Uh, this comes with offerings of thanks and gratitude. Um, everything is shared from a large uh, table, and people just sort of take what they want. But no, but you notice as they are um, offering it around that nobody is taking, like, everybody is taking sort of a small measured portion of each rather than just sort of jumping in and being like, well, this is what I like, and I want a bunch of this, and, like, it's just... Instead of Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is everybody takes, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that with the idea that there's going to be plenty for everybody, and you can enjoy a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the sense you get. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you... If you end up... <laughs> um, there is a mushroom stew. There is a flatbread. There is an herb salad. Ooh. There's a noodle dish. Um, it's like tapas. Mm. <laughs> so it's a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'll uh, accord myself with a local with the customs. And do the same. Okay. I'll um, take slightly more than <laughs> <laughs> you would. Not like double portion, but like a one one point three portion. <laughs> like you claim all the bottom of the bag fries. Yeah, yeah tell me that it. Yeah, like. <laughs> they don't seem to mind. They, you know, they. Um, there's a lot of smiling at you in an indulgent way. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know any better. <laughs> like, oh, look at that little creature. Oh, I, I, I know can. better. He just can't. I just don't care. <laughs> the only one giving you any eyes is reverence. So you can side eyes you don't <laughs> He's going to chill out that fire with the side eye glare, icy stare. He's going <laughs> After um, after the dinner, uh, as Cedric stands up and is ready to leave, he he says, "Reverence, would you join me, my boy?" I will join him. Um, and he takes you for a walk, and he just says, "I can tell that something is is bothering you." Well, <laughs> clearly, there's quite a bit bothering me, but. You would guess right. I, you, you know the kobold that parties with us, joins us. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> well, it, as far as I'm aware, he's never really been truly a harmful creature, but he's been, I, what is it, a warlock, something that makes a pact with something else. Correct. Um, he. Yes. Yes, I'm aware of these um, well, these uh, magic users. Yes, well, my friend Erasmus has been a warlock for some time, but it seems like it's more... I don't know how to say it. But, but essentially, he's made a, a pact with a fiend. And oh, dear. It, and I'm trying, and I've been trying to find a suitable replacement, you know, perhaps something that we could offer him in a way that we could do it um, that would give him the ability to help us in this future great conflict against the greatest evil we can imagine, while also perhaps not consuming his soul in the process. <laughs> what he's currently worshipping is 
a kind of a mindless entity. Hmm. Have you broached the subject with the uh, the little creature? I wouldn't even know how to begin. He's mm. obsessed and a very strange and almost non. It's almost as if it's more the creature's will than his own. Ah, this is very alarming. Then, if it has gone as far as you, you can tell that sometimes the, the will of his. Uh, Patron. Fiend, patron, whatever you wish to call it, uh, is sort of exerting over him, then uh, that is quite, that is an advanced case. I, I've seen and heard of similar things before. People who come to our, come to our temple over the years, sometimes some of them have been in similar predicaments where they involve themselves for whatever reason uh, with beings that they came to realize could not be trusted. And it, it sounds as if this is what you're talking about. Um, what of your other companions, the uh, the fuzzy one and the the lovely young lady? Well, Elsmith worships uh, another creature, another goddess of nature. Um, as far as I'm aware, fertility and love. She's 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 a good egg. <laughs> um, Blue is uh, what Blue. is the time god's name? Kronos. 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 Yes, he's he's bound himself to Kronos through acts that are not so much of his own choice. But he doesn't seem too bad with it. It seems Kronos is mostly an okay god. I don't know much about Kronos, honestly. Uh, I am aware of uh, these gods. The god of time is neither um, good or bad. Time is simply time. However, it is my understanding that Kronos is mostly benevolent. If a little um, uninvolved in the day-to-day. -day. Well, he's chosen blue for whatever particular reason. As uh, things get worse, it, it it is clear to me that the gods are taking a more active role than they have in the past. Active in the sense of seeking out champions and uh, representatives in the world that they can grant blessings to, and and um, in that way, indirectly um, steer the course of our little world. Uh, have you talked to the other two about your concerns about Erasmus? We've talked about it, um, and there's been talk about looking for them a new god. Mm. Uh, mm. I had hoped that perhaps you knew of, even if it's just another creature of that is wild, that is just not simply an evil one, would almost be more beneficial to everyone involved. Hmm. Well, um, it is my feeling that this is the sort of thing that Erasmus must do on his own. He must find the true source of his power. And he must find who, where he belongs. No one can find it for him. If he is going down a dark path, it is good to try to bring him to understand how dark and dangerous this is, not just for him, but for people he loves, for the world in this, uh, in the place that it is but he must choose to do it for himself. It, it's not a god buffet out there. It is where one can just simply trade them out as one wants. He must encounter a dark night of his own soul in order to truly change and break away. 
I see. Uh, has it occurred to you, boy, that you might have to break paths with your friend? Erasmus, uh, uh, that's why I had hoped not to get to that moment. Um, though I know before it's all over with, there will have to be a ch side chosen. Indeed. I, I will pray for you, my boy, but I know that you will do the right thing in the end. I, I do not know Erasmus, and I do not know of his character. Otherwise, I could guide you um, better. But I can tell you, if he does choose for himself to, to find a new patron, a new path in life, uh, I, having found one already, it is clear that he is a he's a sort of person who can find his way. It's just about convincing him to go to the right to the way of good and not of destruction. Indeed. <sighs> well, I take it that uh. Have y'all, besides this, have you been visited by creatures, um, de demons and devils, or has the corruption spread here more? Or? The corruption spreads. We have more trouble uh, from giants than we've ever had, I'll tell you that much. They have never bothered us before, but lately, lately they have been very aggressive, and we... they... I had a bit of a spar with them ourselves on the way here. Yes, they have been uh, fraternizing with beasts and low creatures and monsters. Also, I, I believe we are going to have to simply um, close up some of the tunnels and pathways that uh, we've had before. They are growing too dangerous with the Monsters. I see. Has uh, has the these these giants and have they made forays into the actual grove or have they stayed out? Uh, they they have mostly stayed out. When they have come within, they have not been aggressive yet. And uh, when we ask them, of course, even giants are welcome within our grove, but not with the foul beasts that they bring with them, who would cause taint. Uh, however, uh, when asked to leave their beasts outside, they usually turn around and, and walk away. I but see. there's been quite a bit more um, looking about, as if they have been considering what they could get away with. I am hopeful that having seen both your, um, your show of force and uh, if you've already tangled with them and gotten out alive, they will be convinced perhaps that we have powerful allies that they don't want to muck about with, but I don't know how long that will hold them off. Still, we are committed to peace here, you know. Yes, of course. I'll keep walking with him, and I guess talking, but uh, yeah, I don't know that I have more to bring up. Like, sure. Uh, he talks to you sort of gently about. Whatever's happened in the past few years, comings and goings of people that you know. Um, and, you know, at the end he says, I am sorry that these uh, dark days have brought such a burdens on you, and I am sorry that I could not do more to help and bring you peace. We'll all find peace in the end, I believe. It's just 
<laughs> I, when I had come here, I'd. Well, I guess we did find information in the archive. I just simply, I don't know. Have you? And I think about it for a moment. Have you? Are you certain? When was the last time you had heard from Sir Osric? I, I'm a little concerned. Things have gotten darker these days, and I haven't heard from him in a long time. Um, it has been, oh goodness, it has been months, I believe. Uh, you could ask some of the others if they have seen him. Um, I have not seen him in a few years. So, a few months is good, I will ask. Yeah. It's been, it has been quite some time. Uh, and when I say that I saw him, it's more that I heard of his passing by. I did not speak to him myself. Mm. Well, I hope he has not gotten into something mm. above his head. So do I. Okay. And scene. So what do you do now? <laughs> I'll return to the others and I guess we should probably sit down and have a discussion about what we're actually going to do next. What is the plan? Yeah. Um, can we have the map of the continent back up? Of course. Once again. There was something in I want to say Moria, but that's not the right name. <laughs> there was something in, in the Elf Country. Um, there was one of the uh, someone a, a we were going to see with... or something. Uh, yeah. The one, the one thing I remember is that there are some of the tridents that are in yes. one of the what they called up north near yes. the edge of the corruption, uh, the border between the corruption and the uh, uh, Lyona. That's the name. That's the name of it. Uh, yeah, we were going to go and check on them because the king and queen were yeah. worried about them. And uh, there's also... We were uh, gonna... You also had something from Lady Piper had sort of asked you to to do the to do that as well. Yes. To just yeah. sort of check. Just check in. Um, and they are north of Ankalon. Yeah. Okay. Where? I'm missing my American flag lottery, guys. It's a tragedy to America. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, also, yeah, I think we got enough money to, uh, if we use the kitty fund, to order up some plate for a reverence. We've made enough money now between the Triton treasure and our other monies. We just need to get to a blacksmith, then. Yep. Because we also have some spell scrolls that I don't know if anyone can really use, so we can maybe sell those for the rest. Because we've got, let's see, 43 gold plus 235 plus, a th yeah, 5,000, yeah, we've got 1,060 for gold payments. Mm -hmm. One from Lady Piper and one from the Tritons, so that should be enough, the 1,000 GP for your suit, right? Yep. We do also have the uh, ascending stone, so uh, to um, the Bernie School. So if you wanted to contact the um, the Gandalf Society and figure out if they have any missions for us, that is also a possibility. Uh, yeah, but I think we were heading to Leona. That was right. And then eventually yeah. to the Bernie School after we were done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah make make the full um, full trip around. And Ankalon, yeah, is on the Found way. It. So remind me, where are the Tritons and what was the... Uh, yeah, it's been a while and I don't have all my... So the Triton are, been a while. Triton are up in here, north of uh, Ankalon. Okay, and with the Doomsday Cult. Yes. Okay. And we're here. Right, and then where are we going to Leona? What are we seeing there? There's something we were going there for, I thought. I think I think it's it's literally just like we were going up here to meet them. Oh, okay. All right. I thought there was something in Leona that we were going to see. I don't remember. I... But okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there is one, the one step... thing that 
there is the one thing that the moment we the reason why we went anti-clockwise around the continent to begin with was that leona um since we killed the guy um oh the elf, elf in the begin in yeah. the beginning there um I'm back the the um the bloody book or whatever they're called Libra Sanguinus. Mm. Yeah, bloody book. Um, bloody book. Yeah, that is. I know a little bit of Latin. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, they um, they might be uh, looking out. Um, oh, on the logo okay. oh, that was us, ages so. ago. They probably forgot he's dead now. That's fine. <laughs> it, <laughs> Maybe like not. A, or not. Like three months ago or something like that. <laughs> um, what you do yeah. know is uh, he definitely didn't come from Ancalon. Um, mm. I'm not sure if you ever sort of got his bio, uh, no. but <laughs> but he was uh, Ancalon is is basically a fort um, oh. that is all wood elves and. Uh, it's kind of, it's a very rustic place and it's nowhere it's nothing like the um oh, they're, pompous they're not high fancy to they're race not elves. yeah good <laughs> so. the race is a species i'm not sure <laughs> okay we've had this uh, conversation before <laughs> of, yeah Probably. and i think we should just skip it today because yeah, it feels like that kind of day <laughs> yeah, we, have, joke, so. we do have yeah, our mounts yeah. that they brought up for us Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the mounts are still down. Oh, okay. Um, but they can be brought to the, uh, the. You would know this reference. They can get them to the other side of. Of course. Uh, around Priel Lake, but they're not going to bring them up. Okay. To the, you know, it's it's just. The goat could do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but okay. the other one, it's kind of it's asking for trouble. So they they would probably suggest otherwise, and they're you know they're not all in the best, um, the best condition. Okay, fair enough. I've had a day to rest. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, I think if, if everything is sorted out here, then we can we can head out. Well, also, I'm, yeah, I'm I mean in the morning. Sure. Yeah, it's it's evening. Yeah, I'll also over I'm dinner, fine. I'll brief them as to what we, um, Reverence and I found about in the library, cool. or like mm -hmm. background information. So. And I'm sure we all want to have a conversation about Erasmus without Erasmus. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who doesn't sleep now? So that makes it nice and easy. <laughs> well, he can go out looking at the stars again, while the monks aren't keeping an eye on him where he where he goes. <laughs> Uh, Erasmus, do you go out looking at the stars again? <laughs> yeah, probably. It was pretty, pretty last night, and like, there's no, it's boring S sitting in a room with three people who are sleeping is boring as fuck. <laughs> so, going, wandering around a new place that I ha haven't been before now that and now that I've had a tour and know where to go, um, a bit more about where to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go yeah. and have a look and sit, sit in with my legs about bang thing over there, the abyss. And then he falls, and then that's the end of Erasmus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Um, so Reading while my, he's... My book of shadows. Um, are, are any of you, like... Uh, so how does this work? Like, is one of you sort of staying up and, and checking? Do you have a conversation about what you're going to do? Well, I guess we're kind of sleeping. Uh, the way I picture it is it's sort of like a dormitory, you know, with like mm -hmm. four cots or something or four beds, um, you know, two bunk beds or something. Yeah, and they yeah. kind of put I, was, I, was, I was picturing two bunk beds as well. Yeah. And, and he would just be like, well, all right, you guys are going to go to sleep. Um, that's boring. I'm out of here. I'm going to go look at the stars. And then he leaves. Like, it's, we're still like yeah. getting ready for bed, you know, like still yeah. like blue is like um, finding, trying to make it more like box like because it just, you know, he feels more secure with things around him, you know, like organizing the blankets mm -hmm. into a box or whatever. <laughs> Elspeth, uh, Elspeth. <laughs> you've actually, they actually, they, there aren't a lot of women who come up here. Um, just be, it's, um, it's not like a rule or anything. It's just not a lot of women come up. So they have, uh, in mind of your assumed need for privacy, they have put up 
um, some silk curtains between your <laughs> cot and everybody else's. Oh, yeah. Peekaboo. Uh, a modesty screen. <laughs> yeah. You have yeah. your own little area, um, which is very well apportioned there kind of being very nice. Uh, they bring you a bowl of, of water with rose petals in it so that you can freshen up. Ooh. And um, there's lovely scents um, going on. Yeah, you know, you guys get stuff too, but it's it's not quite as... Um, <laughs> Uh, Elspeth is getting slightly the <laughs> the royal treatment as much because they're just not used to girls and they don't know what to do with you. Know, Flowers are pretty else. here. Protecting <laughs> <laughs> themselves. Well, uh, this is no, not a temple that you would go to if you wanted to do a lot of um, rocking and rolling. The kind of stuff that we do at our temple. <laughs> yeah. Elspeth's temple is exactly that temple, but <laughs> you have some kind of exchange program. <laughs> yeah, Might so I'd imagine, you know, Reverence is sort of like you know, polishing his weapons, you know, keeping everything in order. Elspeth is like lighting candles and doing some stuff, and then we hear Erasmus go out and like she dip dops, you know, ducks her head out between the curtains and like are we going to have a talk or what? And then Blue's like, I was waiting for you to say that. And Reverence is like, the whole day. Like, so that's kind of how I pictured it going. Um, why don't you yeah. roll, uh, first roll Insight. Okay. Wow. Nope. <laughs> very I Erasmus no roll. It's a very Erasmus you know, roll. Yep. So you figured that these guys are tired and they want to go to bed right off. That's yeah. You're like, God, I better get out of here so they could get some sleep. People look exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to like wake them up when I leave. So yeah. off you go. <laughs> so. Do, um, um, do you want me to? I can take my headphones off while while you guys discuss if you want. To. <laughs> we can write. We can type. Come back when we're done. Yeah. So that will work. That seems uh, okay. See you in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna murder Elasmus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we want to murder him every day. We've held off so far. <laughs> so. But yes. You gotta tell us what, what what did you find? Did you ask? I asked. It was sort of disappointing. I didn't really get any answer out of it. He basically told me that uh, Erasmus will have to um, reject that himself, and that was a journey for him to go through. And that also, when the time comes, we'll have to. You know what I mean? Kill him. I mean, if it has to come down to it, you'll have to pick a side, and he's on the side of the demons. Hmm. I don't want to. I don't know that I could do it. Is there another god that I could, probably do, it. I could probably, I could probably do it. Um, but... <laughs> well, yes, you could do it, but you don't want to have to do it. I don't it. want to do it. He's all right. Yeah. When, um... We went to see his family. He looked like a real person and not like a crazed loon. <laughs> Pyromaniac. Yes, yeah. I would not like to tell his uh, family what happened to him. Oh, I would never tell his family. I would just never go there again. Um, but we need to find something, and we need to find a way to convince him that his god is not good. I mean, I could pray yeah. to my goddess that she would through his well he doesn't dream anymore does he because he's up all night so you can't even use the dream state to try to have him see something else we could take him to the abyss somehow and show him how bad it is how is that what do you have in mind i don't know we just leave him there <laughs> <laughs> no i don't know i'm trying to think of this outside the box think... here what do you do in this case well, I well, what's, what what is what is his favorite part about about the fire? You okay? The freedom and the fire, and the burning thing. Well, there's no freedom in being tied to something that makes you its puppet. I don't think he thinks of it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe he could. 
But we can't we, we, we can't take away his fire. We take away his fire. He's no, gonna... no, no. The fire has to lead him away from it. It's the he loves the fire more than he loves this thing. Well the thing is that the thing he loves is well a, a fucking being of fire. Oh. Or you know there are there's a fire plane. Mm. Maybe there's something there that we could look into the archives or something that some sort of being a fire that isn't necessarily um evil and perhaps doesn't want to destroy our planet <laughs> yeah maybe from away from destroying the planet and just seeing fire as a change as a temporary you know as a way to move from one state to another make it neutral if not evil there's also uh, dragon. okay no. um Sorry to interrupt. I was going to say, Elspeth, you could roll religion. Yeah, I'll do that. I give you advantage that I'm also trained in it. Okay. I think. Cool. Let me double check <laughs> that, actually. Yeah, well, I find the letter yeah, so R. I am, tra I am okay. trained in it, so you can have advantage in it. 23. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, Teamwork. Keep talking while I I look up some uh, make sure I'm giving you the right information. Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah. If we could have them yeah. tap into a fire plane being, or even the fire plane itself, draw on its energy or something. Or like an, an you know how like the Fey Wild has arch fays and then does arch demons and arch devils, like an arch elemental of some kind even would be more preferable than what he currently worships, which is a literal demon. Yes. I don't know much about kobolds. What is their lineage? Kobolds? They're dragon, they're draconic creatures. Um, dragons the breathe of, fire? Well, some dragons breathe some fire. Some dragons breathe fire, yes. Uh, and the ones that breathe fire, unless you're, the, half of them are evil. Very easy. What about the other half? <laughs> uh, if we could find the other half, sure. Uh, golden dragons and silver dragons, uh, I believe. Okay. Yeah. I mean, red. He likes red, but. Yeah. He likes I don't fire know more. If you want him to worship a red no, dragon, no. that would be worse in some cases. He likes, <laughs> he likes fire more than he likes. So that's the important thing to remember here. And I'm pretty certain dragons worship gold more than they worship fire. Hmm. I don't want him to rob me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's already a little gremlin. <laughs> yeah, if he gets obsessed with stuff, he's obsessed with fire. If he gets obsessed with gold, then yes, he'll turn. He will into never a have money. We <laughs> <ever again. laughs> the kitty will uh, be gone. Meow. He'll just be sleeping on it every night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It'll be so, worse than blue. Can can cob like I don't know much about kobolds. Can they breathe fire? No. Oh. Mm. They're not that that good of dragons. Well, no, the descendant like mm -hmm. they were created by uh, Bahamut or whatever the dragon gods, you know, as a sort of a servant to dragons. Mm. As far as I'm aware, I've read a little bit about. Dragons. You know, when you're a kid and you're looking for interesting books in an ancient archive, the ones about dragons and demons and devils are the most interesting ones in ancient wars. So, I read a little bit about them. We didn't cover genealogy in my courses at university. That one I missed. <laughs> Glad you filled in the blanks. <laughs> um, yes, I think the thing is that it's the fire is the most important part. So if, as long as that um, is... As long as we find right. a fire-obsessed being, be it an arch for a or a elemental, that would be... All right. So as far as deities, mm -hmm. um, most fire gods are, well, they're not the nicest people. <laughs> um. And then you have sort of uh, gods of the forge or gods of the sun, which is uh, in the neighborhood. Sun is hotter uh, than fire. 
Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, if you could convince them of that, there's plenty of good sun gods. Uh, if it's specifically uh, gods of fire that you are looking for, there is a god, a very little known god named Utu, the unbalanced. <laughs> who is it? Sounds perfect. Um, a chaotic, um, chaotic but good. Uh, okay. So uh, his symbol is a sun disc, and he does have a, a sort of sun aspect, but other parts of his aspects include chaos and fire. Um, you would, he was a human god. Um, then there is Kosuth, uh, who's a primordial god called the Fire Lord. Can you say um, that one more time? Kosuth? Kosuth, yes. K-O-S-S-U-T-H. That's an elemental? Yes, he is. He's the Lord of Flames, the Fire Lord. Um, and while he is himself a lawful neutral, there were um, both a neutral and good disciples branches. Uh, the disciples of the Phoenix were the good branch. Um, and then there was the brothers and sisters of the purifying flame, which uh, their goal was to try to strike a balance between purification and destruction. Um, and those two different types so as far as gods, that's who you are looking at. Uh, there, you could definitely, going to the, uh, the fire plane is something that you could do, and you could certainly find something, but it is, uh, you know, it's not something you would want to do unless you had a lot more information. You know, it's it's not a place you just go. Uh, it's very dangerous. So you would want to like find, um, a, you know, druids who were very uh, well versed in this, or something like someone like that before you would go, you know, hanging out in the fire plane. Um, Fey, there are certainly elemental spirits. Fey suffers from some of the same issues. In that it's it's a little hard to tell. They don't necessarily have the same ideas about good or evil. You could find a good fiery fae, but it would take some investigating. Um, as far as dragons, uh, yes, red uh, red dragons are evil. Um, they might be willing to do people a favor if you were to bring them some great gift or um, something like that. But you're, it's hard to know what kind of gift it would be that they would uh, give to uh, your, your friend Erasmus and what uh, the cost of that would be. So again... A possible a possibility, but something you would want to get more information on. All signs point to maybe. I have, a, I have an evil skull whip, <laughs> which I'm sure is rare. How many skull whips do you think a dragon has? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I'm gonna know. Yeah. I wonder. I, just, I it's it's going to be rare. Like if they like gold, I'm sure we can't provide enough gold to do it. But how many school whips does a red dragon have? Not many, I'm sure. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if he. I wonder if we could use that as a trait. <laughs> just we have this rare one of a kind <laughs> skull whip. Yeah. <laughs> it's evil. We know that. We know that it's got more than than just skull whippiness. Yeah. Um, because it did it did take over. Um, what's his face for a while? Yes. Oh yeah. So, so it's it's more than just a whip on a skull. Um, 
So it's got to be worth something. You've, you've never put the skull back together. Nope. It's still in pieces. Yeah. In a bag, but we do have it. Yeah. So in theory, you have a skull whip. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. In theory, we have a skull whip. It is mine. You mind. have the pieces to make up a skull whip. It is, yes. <laughs> He's got it when he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, the question is, like, how do we get him to, you know, look over at any of these? You know, it's not like we could take him out to a bar and introduce him to a new god. I mean, we could just drag him to a temple, a dragon cave. It's not like it's not like we ever, you know, we do crazy ass shit all the time. We could go to the fire plane. Yeah. We could. We could, however, introduce him to a fire deity, and if he is convinced that this deity is greater, mm. we could maybe Give him make bigger the fire. Uh, I'm sure we can drop hints along the way. Yeah, maybe we need to find like a cleric or a worshiper who can sell the benefits of their pyramid scheme. Yes, let's 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 do that. Um, <laughs> I think we need to think about this more. We we do have a long journey, and we yeah. do have a lot of time. Yes, that's true. Um, can... From what you know, Utu might take more traveling um, than Kosuth. Okay. You know that there are there are people around. Um, that are worshippers of Kosuth. Uh, you might even find them in Ankalon. Utu is not well known. Like, this is because you rolled high, you got mm. Utu. Okay. But he is not Pretty well known on this area. He's much more obscure, though you're aware that there are some um, places down south where he is much more... Um, much more likely to be worshipped. You, you've heard of it, but it's not something you've personally encountered. Yeah, maybe you'd we can... Prob- Sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say you probably need to talk to the Candlewick Society or somebody who was an expert on the southern continents. To get that. Yeah, maybe just yeah. Um, we can go into every town and go to the local temples, ask around. Um, you know, maybe there's an ecumenical one where various people meet if they don't have enough for their own building and um, see if we can connect him up with some Kosuth followers and uh, see other, just show them there's some other paths to the same kind of burning, flaming, fiery, smoky end. <laughs> All right. No. Um, were you guys trying to keep your voices down, trying to, or were you just like, ah, oh, he's gone, he's not going to hear us? We're definitely going to be whispering to each other. Yeah, afterwards. I would imagine we'd shut, they like watch him leave and then shut the door and then like, I would invite them into my little space and they could all like sit on my bed like it's a slumber party. And I'd <laughs> ask Blue to do my hair, braid it, you know, whatever, and just like speak in really low tones. Um, so do you guys want to roll stealth? Sure. Plus it's going to be late at night and I don't want anyone else listening in on our business either. I got that thing where I don't make noise. Stealth. <laughs> Can we do it as a group? Good. I'm not stumbling around in the dark here is all I'm saying. <laughs> um, trying to keep our voices down. Keep my voice in the, uh, you know, whatever. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, you do all right. Like it wasn't a high bar. Yeah, because it's you're by yourselves in a room. But I'm mm-hmm. just just checking to make sure that nobody sort of decided to go yell out a window by accident. Or... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Should we bring Erasmus back then? Yeah. Or go bring... for it. Okay. Back. All right. What, what happened? They forgot about me. They're on the road. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So Elspeth will just uh, like, okay. yep, yep, yep. Everyone's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, do you stay pretty much stay out most of the night, or you come in at some point? Uh, Vince, how cold is it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, it's, it's not super cold. Like it's, I would say it's chilly. This is the top of a mountain and it's, you know, getting on to, uh, Early autumn. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably come in at some like like give it like I don't know three or four hours something like that before I come back in like right. because it's starting to get a little, a little chilly and like it's warm inside there. They're all asleep. I'll just, I'll just sit on my bed. Okay. All right. Um... So the next morning, you wake again. Um, Cedric comes and visits you early in the morning, and he, he says, you know, I, I'm aware that you guys are probably not going to be able to stay much longer. I, I know that you have much to do. Um, he gives you um, a little pack to bring on your way. It contains uh, plenty of very nice rations, enough for uh, oh. two weeks, and you think it will keep very well. Um, he uh, he doesn't have a lot of money, cash, but he does have some jewels, um, and you figure there's probably about 25 gold worth of um, various stones and um, figurines that he's able to give you. He also gives you, hang on, um, uh, some holy water. So you have two holy water now that you can add and um, two greater healing potions mm. nice. from their stores. Nice. Who's taking what? I don't know. Um, I mean, I I already have a vial of holy water, and I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah. But I, I I'll take I'll take one of them so that at least it's out of the way. Okay. Well, I and I can take one of the potions so that I can run up to you and shove it in your mouth. I could yeah, use a yeah. potion since I tend to get hit the most. Yeah, you ought to think. Are get we getting potions? Guy. What are we got two potions. potions of greater healing. Oh, nice. I'll take was it, it was greater healing, right? Or... It was two, right? Yep. Yeah, but two of well, it was greater, greater right? Divide. Yeah, two, yep, greater. two yeah. potions of greater and healing. And how much holy like water? Per? Uh, two vials of holy water. Oh. Does anybody want to two vials? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got spells that require them, so. Okay. Really? Then you can have all two of those, then. Yeah, like Beacon yeah. of Hope and Turn Undead and just some other things. I didn't know that needed holy water. Uh, some of them do. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, they can use other things as well. It's not only holy water. Oh, uh, Also, um, Christy, we got, for the kitty, we got 25 gold worth of uh, jewels. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. Okay. So 25 gold in jewels. Yes. And uh, rations, blankets, um, enough uh, enough for you all to have two weeks worth of rations. Oh, nice. I know what that lady was. And, uh, and, and we each got two potions of greater healing. No, 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 two no, 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 Okay, together. okay, got it. Blue took one, Reverend took the other. Okay, got it. Cedric also um, asks Erasmus if he would join him for a walk. Sure. Uh, and he takes you up to the garden. He walks you around. He shows you various plants. Chokes you to death. <laughs> <laughs> Throws you off the side of the cliff. <laughs> uh, and he sits down and he sort of looks at you for a bit. And he says, Young Cobalt, how long have you had a pact with your fiend master? I wouldn't say master. It's warm. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. <laughs> they help me. Yeah, I help them. 
They don't really the map much. Let's see. Hmm, how long has been? Oh, looks in my bio because I can't remember. Uh, a couple, a couple of years, like like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, if you were to say no to them, they would continue to bring you the same power. Yeah. Have you that... ever tried doing that? Uh, have I? <laughs> <laughs> I do not You're know. You're pretty religious <laughs> about your page burning, no pun intended. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I would say I have. You would say you have, but you cannot remember having done so. Mm. I don't really keep a whole lot of track of what I do for them. Like It's mostly minor stuff. Yeah. Well, perhaps you should try not doing it for a while and see how they react. If they oh, truly oh, are I... not your master, then they will not care. No, they don't still care. Like, they just still... Like... If you had a friend who, who you were a good friend with, and you did things for them, and they did things for you, if you suddenly stopped, they would get... That would be weird for them, and they would be <laughs> right, angry at you. That's... They would you know, be angry? Weird. Well, wouldn't they possibly just think that you had other things on your mind, or you weren't in a position to be as generous? I mean, sure, don't sure. True like, 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 have, I have to tell them, like, you don't just stop stop helping a friend. Yeah. So, if you told your patron that you were going for whatever reason to stop some of your helping for what for whatever reason. What do you think their reaction would be? Uh, they probably would be a little disappointed there. And so would I. Like, I like, it's... No, mm. they seem... Uh... See, the thing is, the, the things... I'm not sure why you're so interested in this. This like, is a weird conversation. But you're... I am a man of the spirit, little one. That makes him... That, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense, and obviously, yeah, you don't call, encounter people like me all, yeah, every day, so yeah, that makes sense. Um... <laughs> <laughs> <What the> <laughs> <laughs> I had encountered some like you before. Many of times I have um, noticed that people who encounter these sorts of pacts, sometimes they find that they are in over their head. So I'm concerned for you. Oh, well, you don't have to be. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I am glad to hear it. Yeah. I wish to offer you a blessing. Will you accept it? Sure. What does it do? It, uh, I shall ask the gods of the nature and the spirits that are within to grant you a blessing of wisdom. Hmm. That, that sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, I always use it as wisdom. Huh? It, uh, <laughs> I do not think it will, um, fundamentally change you in any way, but every little bit helps, and... Yeah. Once the gods of nature are looking at you and guiding your way, it cannot help but be a an easier journey. Well, I would hope so. We can use all the we want. We're up. Have you seen the shit we're up against? <laughs> uh, yes, they tied me up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It, so it was a very helpful yeah, to us that sorry you came when you did. Sorry. You are not rude, little one. Oh. And he <laughs> takes his um takes your head in his hands and you hear him sort of humming under his breath. And there's a, a feeling of soft warmth in his hands. 
and a, a pulsing of, of just very gentle energy. And after a little bit, he seems to come to the end of whatever he was doing, and he bows to you and he says, go well, little Erasmus, and do good. Mm. And good will be done to you as well. That is what I believe. Thank, thank you. Are you going to give the others the same, or I think we could all use some help on this. Everyone needs different help. Uh, I see. That, that's fair. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Indeed. And he brings you down, sort of pats you on the back, nods to reverence, and says, um, I am needed up here. I cannot accompany you all the way down. But uh, I did want to be here to say goodbye and to thank you all again for all that you've done for us. So thank you. Welcome. <laughs> thank you for the wonderful yeah. gifts and the wonderful food and the safe place to sleep. Yeah, this, this place is nice. And thanks for the blessing again. Anytime. All right. Um, so. Battle up. And, yeah. Um, Rasmus, anytime in the upcoming um, days when you're uh, using your powers, let me know if you roll either a natural one or a natural 20. Oh, yeah. I was going to do that anyways, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, sometimes I don't see that it's a natural yeah. one if it's mm -hmm. cool. I will yeah, definitely do that. Yeah. All right, great. Uh, so you are the healthiest uh, members of the, uh, two of the healthiest members of the order uh, bring you down. It's, uh, they're not taking you through the caves and caverns. They're taking you down the, the long way with the, um, tall, rickety, steaming stairs, um, that do shake. Um, I don't know. Reverence probably knows that actually the, the feeling of ricketiness is actually part of what it makes it strong. It is built to um, diffuse energy because there's occasional oh. earthquakes. So, so, so it's, it's like a palm tree. Right. It's, um, uh, but in fact, even though it sort of like just spreads all the energy out so that it doesn't like break, it, it feels scary in places. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're really high up and it's kind of not quite uh, still, which is odd. But you make your way down and you are eventually brought to um, your mounts who are now waiting for you. This is now on the other side of the mountain. Um, and you are uh, free to go and mm -hmm. head to Ankaloth if you wish, or wherever you wish. Yes. Well, um, I think Ankaloth. that was... Yes, and Kalon. Mm -hmm. Seemed like that was the next destination that we had. We have something to do. That's before the Bernay School. We've told the Tritons we would check in on that person. Yeah. And, and then talk to a representative. Maybe that was it. Talk to a representative in Leona. Because it's a big city. Maybe that's mm. why it stuck out in my brain. And we could get a message hey. back to them through their representative, their like tourism board person there. Back to who? The Tritons. Remember, oh, we're going to oh, check on one of their last members? I see, what you, I see yeah. what you mean. Yeah. Yes. So I'm uh, before we get saddled up, I'm going to pet, uh, pet um, Jackal just to see if I can get like a better standing with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, um, pet Charcoal. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll animal handling. Oh, look at Natural that. Natural 20. Woohoo. All right. Um... Yes, well, that's so, not my powers. <laughs> uh, yes, it's not your powers. So, um, you 
you happen to have um, like a little carrot sticking out of your bag because of the uh, what you were given. <laughs> and charcoal looks at you, looks at the carrot, looks at you, looks at the carrot, looks at you, and sort of smiles. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you give him the carrot. You now have discovered that charcoal loves carrots. <laughs> he absolutely loves them. <laughs> And you have quite a few in your pack now because of uh, generosity. So uh, all of a sudden, you guys are close friends. <laughs> oh, the way to a goat's heart is through his stomach. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. Go. <sighs> Um, it is, it's a little rough going. This isn't the smoothest territory, um, around Priel Lake, um, and towards Ankalon. Uh, but, you know, you guys are, are well-traveled people, so it's not, it's not necessarily difficult. You're probably talking about a day to a day and a half. Um, so why don't you roll a d100 for me? Who that? Uh, anyone. anyone. Whoever wants to. All right. Mm. I'm done. <laughs> That's a 17. That's a number. Yep. It is. <laughs> it's, a, it's an odd number, even. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> All right. I think it might be uh, it's 17. I think 17 is a prime number. I think, I think it is. is. Yep, I think it is as well. Um, you uh, see as you walk very along. Very important to the roll. <laughs> <laughs> we see um, as we walk. As you walk. Uh, some smoke in the distance. Ooh. 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 Smoke. Um, is it like campfire smoke or town on fire smoke? <laughs> I'm going to take a big sniff and see if I can smell any oh, of the Oh, there smoke. you go. Yeah. All Are right. Are survival? Uh, being that this is smoke, whatever you roll, you can roll. Um, it could be perception. It could be survival. Uh, roll it with advantage. Okay. Yeah, same so. Oh, 13. Hmm. If it's a campfire, it's a they're cooking people. Oh, what? Okay, I informed the rest of the, the group of this. We should go. Yeah, right I think now. we should go. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so you head into, uh, you follow your nose quite literally. <laughs> um, and uh, it's maybe a half a mile before you come to a clearing. And in the middle of a clearing, um, someone is tied to a stake and is still smoking. But probably pretty dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not hard to tell that much. Uh, there, is there anything else around? Is yeah. the person okay. burning for stake? You want me to do a perception check? Look around. There you go. Um, uh, there's signs that there were a group of people here um, who have now apparently gone off back into the woods for some reason. That's the first thing you know. That, but there were um, probably, you know, some of these things can smoke for some time, but probably it's been a few hours. Um, the other thing you see is that there is a, um, uh, there is a note left um, saying that this person, and it's in Elvish, which you speak, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so uh, there is a claim that this person um, whose name shall never be uttered, uh, is 
an evil wizard uh, ta uh, accused of raising the dead and uncouth acts. Hmm. And has hmm. been sentenced. Can I investigate the bonfire, uh, well, the pile of fire that's done, to <laughs> see if I can glean anything from it? Like, sure. Like, if they've done magic, used magic, or like, or if they like, or like, judging by the construction, how they constructed the fire, like, if this is something they do often, like, stuff like that. Ah, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, um investigation. Yeah. Okay. 16. All right. Um, this, it's hard to tell exactly how often they they would do this, but it is well built. Mm -hmm. um, this does not appear to be some sudden half measure. This is a carefully constructed and well constructed, you know, stake in the middle, wood, exactly as you would have Good put it. circulation, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like they're either just really good at building bonfires and just that's just a happy accident for them, or that this is something that they have done more than once. Uh, I, whatever. I inform the rest of their party. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. So, some sort of looks like formal justice. Well, that's, that's, that's what happens when, like, that's what I guess that's just that what happens. With well, their bad legal magic, system. Magic. Yeah, that bad magic users there. You're an evil magic user. You you get burned. Yeah, just like the religious intolerant people up north. You know, like when you're on their territory yeah. there. But yeah. No, mm. it's not that different. Mm. I don't know that we could take everybody in the village or whoever did this on. This wasn't it wasn't like um a spontaneous, you know, sort of murder where people just, you know, like whoever did it, they had the time to build it, they were left alone, nobody interfered with them, they took their time. Yeah. I mean, do we want to try to track down and find out what happened? Or do we want to continue on our way? How like how do we have any idea how far we are for, from a town or city? I uh... Probably not. I mean, uh -huh. it's uh, this is totally new territory to you, yeah. and these are yeah, okay. this well, is wood elf like, was, territory. So I figured, like, we might have passed through one on the way, or by some on the way, or something like that. But fair enough. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't coming back the way you came. So it. it um, okay. You can check out and follow the um, paths if you want to see where they take you. Can I just do a history check to know if Wood Elves set people on fire? Like, does this seem out of character? Kind of thing. Oh, that's, a good point. that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything. Never heard of this yeah. before. Everyone burns people sometimes, don't they? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Everybody burns. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do legal. I didn't do the law at school. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, do we want to try to track it down and make these people answer for what they did, or do we want to move on? What do people think? Um. Hmm. I mean, they. The notes say, did say they were evil and raised the dead, so. Yeah, but we we fought people that were evil and raised the dead, and we didn't burn them at the stake. No, we just burned burned them. On well, if family. that is the law of the land, simply entangling with the authorities just means that we'll end up fighting a whole bunch of people and being wanted ourselves. Huh. I don't know. Like, you don't burn like you don't burn people at the st uh, stake unless you have like some kind of evidence. Yeah, well, I no, I don't know about that. They might have some sort of like they might have some kind of system. Well, true, but. You know, it could have been somebody who was rumored to be a witch. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could, uh, uh, Reverence, you could roll history on this just because this is sort of your neck of the woods. If you're, if you're other smoke things. <laughs> no. no, you don't know either. He didn't, oh, he didn't, he didn't go to this part of the woods. Yeah, he didn't go to this part of the woods. 
Yeah. So. Hmm. Well, carry on with the mission or find out what this is about. Yeah, let's just go. It's, it's not like we can save the purpose. Even if it turns out they're wrong, we can't save them. So, fire yeah. mission. All right. Yeah, we'll ride on. I mean... We will fight more bad elves in the future, regardless. Yeah. Ride on and keep, keep an eye on um, other bonfires in case this is like a. Maybe yeah. this is like. Well, just maybe this is just Sunday for them. We don't know. I don't know elves. <laughs> well, this should be this should be pretty atypical for them. So All the elves we'll... we've interacted with, besides elves, uh, have been really bad racist. It's true. Even, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the, the elf, the elf um, archivist wasn't. That's, that's true. Right, it's, um, it's that cultist group. Oh, which is another evil group, which is just like the rise of. I wonder if they're. I wonder if she was part of the cultists. So maybe it's maybe it is worth investigating. Well, maybe they were part of the cultists. Regardless, I don't know that we'll get much out of this. Well, if they're part of the cult, we might get more information about culty things. Well, we just go to the cult. Even if we can't stop them, we might be able to find out more about what the cult is actually. I don't know. If they have snacks at their church service. <laughs> That's a joke from a different game. <laughs> we, we, if you want to follow this channel, presumably no. Yeah, it, yeah. If, if we got we got lured in by snacks and we got our asses kicked. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Getting our asses kicked is a fucking understatement. It's, it started with snacks and it got a member kidnapped. Yes. Snacks. <laughs> It was, it, it, it we were hungry. It was lunchtime. <laughs> oh, is this after? Oh, yeah, yeah, you left. This is, this, this is all Scrag's fault, too. Yes. Yeah. So. I'm not sure how I have anything to do with it. <laughs> no, it wasn't his fault. Going for the snacks was not his idea. No, it was a group decision for the snacks, and we <laughs> all had culpability, but. Well, look, I mean, one of the things that they said was that there was the rise of evil cults and the thing about the corruption was keeping the peace. So if we find out if these wood elves are either trying to keep the peace or if they're part of it, I mean, that might be a piece of the puzzle in terms of finding out whether or not they're contributing toward the good in the world or the bad. I mean, I don't know. You, you also said you wanted to do more side quests, so I'm also just going to... But if you want to ride on to... Well, if they burned a person for doing necromancy, then they can't be that bad. Well, that's what they're yeah. accusing him of. Unless that's like a smoke screen, which I guess it could be. <laughs> I like, did they, a smoke screen over it because of the, they burned to the stake. Sorry, it was just... <laughs> no, that's, that's just because that's Erasmus. Yeah. Um, no, um, maybe we should find them. They could, they're probably good people with their... Bur well, maybe not good people. But like, they're not bad people. If they're you just good. want to meet them because they burn someone. <laughs> yeah, I'm yes. starting to think this is as well, which is making me want, not want to go. <laughs> look, 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 you might not appreciate this, but that bonfire is fucking. It's it's a great. It's a work of art. They did a great job. These people know what they're doing. I want tips. Well, look, we've got a look, mission. If from they meet you. All right. They may give you tips. Like and it may be that tips. while they are burning you at the stake. Yeah, look, we've got a, a bad thing. We we are on a royal mission from the king and queen from the Triton Kingdom. So maybe we should do keep our word to them. And they won't on. know no if we go just talk All right, to everyone people. in favor of riding on. Aye. Aye. Blue. Nay. You want to go? Really? You want to go check yeah. it out? Oh, well, I don't know. If, if, I just if you have to be more information. If it's if if it's if it's harmless, God, not harmless. But if it's harmless justice, not that. If it's a justice judicial system, then you know we find that out. If it's they're part of the evil cult, hey, we might want to stop them. Okay. Well, I guess I think we should go if people want to go. Well, it's tied otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Pin here, what do you want to do? 
That's, he, that's cheating. He's biased. <laughs> uh, Finn here looks at you, and uh, you hear in your mind, I do not like those that burn others, but I am not uh, interested in your human problems. It's human. <laughs> he, 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 human. Hey, he sort of nods towards the body and he says, Yes, it is a human. You oh. just knew that? Oh. <laughs> you didn't. I just kind of look at it. This looks like a burnt corpse to me. Can I can I look and see if I can recognize that it's a human? <laughs> Um, sure. Roll nature or medicine? Don't want to get outdone by the elk. <laughs> <laughs> but I the elk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nature, you say, is possible? Uh, you could go nature, you could go medicine. Okay, well, mage. Oh, yeah, th this is a human. It's a male human. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know what people look like when they're burned. Yeah. Well, um, uh, certainly an adult, uh, though exactly how old would be very difficult. Uh, this it, he was well dressed, though, you know, oh. uh, you can tell by some of the fringes of uh, of uh, fabric left gold the... buttons left over. <laughs> so, yeah. this wasn't like a within the elves kind of inner family dispute. This is they nabbed somebody. What? That definitely suggests that we should go figure out what the fuck happened here. You know what? If you want to do it, I'll be whatever you want to do. <laughs> All right. It's not really a matter of nature, so I'm not really totally concerned, honestly. Okay. Let's ride on then. Let's see if we can. Um... We, I guess survival, we can do survival checks to look for tracks. I think it's an investigation unless you're a ranger. Mm -hmm. survival. Yeah. Okay. That is how, yeah. usually how it works. Okay. Go ahead. Come on, gang. Let's, let's split up and search for clues. <laughs> or if you're just like, it, there was no effort here. Yeah. For them to, to, hide. Uh, to hide the, the footprints. Mm -hmm. So... It, it's not a terribly high if a couple of you check out and just try to follow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're able to um, uh, take it uh, take it for a while, and as you um, as you go, you find yourself not at a, a village, um, but rather at a camp with several of your fam ever so familiar um, white uh, cultists, white cloak wearing cultists, sort of just sitting around. Um, but there, it's not a big camp, it's pretty small. Oh, it's these people. Oh, how many people would you estimate? Uh, roll perception. I have no idea. <laughs> More than ten. But less than a thousand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't bigger than a bread box. Definitely less than a thousand. Definitely. <laughs> it's not a big camp. Like, you can if, tell if, that much. If anyone gets the bigger than a bread box reference, <laughs> you're fucking the... <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm eating a thin mint. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Do well, I guess we're gonna we're <laughs> riding into camp, probably. Yeah. Like, well, that's true. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume that. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna assume they know we're here. Just say hi. Um, they just <laughs> sort of look up at you and wave and say hello, travelers. Hello. 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 Um, come, come into our camp. We would like, um, we have plenty to eat. Oh. We just ate. Thanks. We just, yeah. We're but. Just, we're just traveling through. Um, we were traveling and then we, um, then, did you know, like, not too far along, there's a guy who got, like, burned. That's really fucked up. Ah, yes, yes. Evil man. 
Uh, oh, you know, do. Truth and, and vicious uh, magics were performed. He raised the dead. In what oh. manner? Uh, with magic. Right. And but... everybody nods, I guess, with magic. <laughs> <laughs> was was it uh, like a skeleton that he raised from the dead, or did somebody die and he brought them back? Uh, they look at that and say, there's some sort of, um, but it wasn't a skeleton, there was meat on it, but it was a body. It oh. was not a, a person, like some sort of zombie creature. Zombie, right? That's what, yes. Yes, there was a zombie. Truly an abomination before God. In the world. I don't roll an insight. All right, go for it. Yeah, they're pro they don't like uh, abominations for sure. I just kind of look at the others like, I think they're telling the truth. Yeah. I mean, I'll burn, I'll burn someone who was making something. Why, um, why did they summon the undead? How did you come across them? Um, there's another sort of looking at, at each other, and they say, well, uh, they had some sort of ritual that they used. We only heard about them as we were doing our scouting mission. We're here just, um, looking about. We've, uh, our, and he sort of puffs himself up, our camp has grown exponentially. We probably need more than one, uh, large campground, so we were out scouting. And we heard tell of this uh, man practicing his evil and despicable acts, and um, we came and we did in fact see one of these shambling creatures wandering around his little house. So we burned and down his then... house, and we burned okay. down the creature, and then we burned down him. I like your style. Mm. Thank uh, you. Hmm. See, straightforward burning to me. Down, see, burning found down things is is an excellent solution, Eloinianus. Shut up, Erasmus. <laughs> <laughs> so, else we sort of... always say when you have an evil doer, you should burn him. Wait three days, make sure nothing happens, and then scatter the ashes. Hmm. Well. The guy back there wasn't exactly ashes. Ah! Are you kidding me? What? Reginald! Reginald! <laughs> so a guy comes shambling. And they said, come on. Uh, I thought you knew how to do a proper... He's like, I did, I did. Why? I'll go back. It looked, go like back. You were, it looked like you were barbecuing him, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the guy who is talking the most, mm -hmm. um, like to kind of, I guess we're on our, we're speaking to them from atop of our mounts. Yep. Right I would now. assume so, yeah. All right. Well, uh, Elspeth will dismount and sort of approach him, like not in an aggressive way, mm -hmm. um, but to say, you know, as she's talking, as she's approaching him, we've seen many of your followers throughout the, um, the country. We've been traveling a lot and we can, we can definitely tell that you are growing as a group and you're you're certainly you know convincing a lot of people as she's getting closer and closer <laughs> to him and her voice is also starting to drop you know as she's closing the distance um and that you're you're definitely drawing a lot of people here and as she gets closer and she's going to watch his face to see if he reacts you said um um we're just wondering if if this has anything to do with the void uh, roll insight. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. He outright flinches and then sort of shakes himself and says, I don't, I, this has nothing to do with, I don't know what you mean. Oh, well, my mistake. Sorry. I'd heard rumors of this and I, th I was just wondering if anything was connected. Uh, this, you know. uh, what rumors? Who, who has been talking these oh, things about? Oh, no, 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 not, no, no, sorry. I've been reading about the ancient times and the corruption and uh, found out in some writings that had mentioned it um, and was just kind of wondering if maybe 
there was anything that you'd seen or heard growing as you passed through the country? Uh, because you uh, rolled high on your insight. Very high. Quite high, yes. Uh, you notice that even though he and uh, maybe one other person who was sitting there has gotten um, very defensive and very almost suspicious looking. Others are just like chewing along mm -hmm. and don't seem at all to affected. They do, they're just like, yeah, no, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Well, uh, you go on carrying out your justice. We'll be on our way. And she'll... Uh, get... uh, are you sure you don't want to stay and hear more of our mission? Oh, we've actually, yes, we met and, uh, you know, talked to many of your missionaries. Um, you've got people all over, all the way from the north to the south, the east to the west. We've we've met many of you, so we've heard it before. And, and best of luck, uh, the end of the world is coming, right? It is indeed. Yes, we should be bothered. Nimue is at our camp even as we speak. I'm sure she would like to meet you. Hello. <laughs> uh, so who sorry, who is this? Our leader. Oh, your oh. leader is at the camp right now. Your leader of your entire sect? She is our guide in these dangerous times oh see most of the people we've met have just been groups of people uh, they haven't had any organization they've just been out to spread the message didn't realize there was a hierarchy of field Mahler, like an and a sort of a loose-knit organization of believers it's not a hierarchy per se it's more of a they kind of look at each other she's our leader that is all. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of look back at the people and I just kind of like try to do a like head nod, like head, head shake, like, no, no, we don't want to be here. We don't want it. We're outnumbered. We don't want to be here. <laughs> I believe we will pass. I'm certain a... we have a lot to do. Yes, we have a message to take to somebody who's been waiting for Ah, well, uh, north of Ancalon, if you uh, change your mind. Absolutely, uh, we'll keep that in mind. Mm. Good day. As we leave, I'm gonna, like, shout a few tips to Reginald about, like, how to improve the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> he writes them down. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, and get the, it. The wind of the direction of the wind. You gotta take that into account. That, that is extremely important, actually, yeah. <laughs> you want to channel like, yeah, wind I mean, and I then spent up. all my time building up just right and didn't even pay attention, you know? I mean, he was already dead. I don't know why we have to burn them to ash anyway. <laughs> All right. When we are well out of earshot, I will share the reaction. Um, also, the fact that um, not everybody knows what the void is. There are only certain people, obviously the ones who feel bold enough to speak on behalf of the group and puff up their chests. Um, are in some sort of inner circle. So it's not like everybody in the cults is going to know about the Void, but the people who do know about it, um, <clears throat> they don't want everybody else to know about it. Mm. So we should ride on, and we should ride all night. We need to like, not get ambushed by these people. Someone's eating potato chips. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean I forgot to That's move. That's okay. Hey, no, I want chips. <laughs> oh, now I do too. Got that. <laughs> chips and chips. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I suggest that. Um, chips. <laughs> uh, we might be on their radar now. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, we kind of were already. We could have just, you know, had a nice ride and <laughs> been wherever we needed to be, and said we had to Attract. interact with people we already knew we didn't want to interact with. 
Well, maybe their cult isn't warning about the end of the world. Maybe they're trying to bring it about. Hmm. <laughs> Yep, All so, right, so I'm going to take a quick bio break. Mm. Um, if you guys want to talk amongst yourselves? You know, um, old, old Joe is addressing the nation in about 30 minutes. Oh, nice. So, I don't know what that means. It might be another three-minute speech for all we know. Well, that is, that is in WP3 hours into the game, so... Yeah. Yeah, if, you, if we want to just um, maybe get you to ankle on and uh, call it a Yeah, call it a night. night. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Think about the void. Mm. All right. And I'm, I'm going to wonder what the f- I, I do when, when you're going to kill yeah, me. Yeah, good. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, we're waiting to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> Like we just then, said, look, we decided that killing me in my sleep doesn't work because you don't sleep. Well, then I guess we'll just have to kill you right now. Well, no, because not if you're drugged or if I cast a sleep spell on you. Well, we're gonna put you sleep out. Well, you can't, you can't cast a sleep spell on me. I cannot be put to sleep by me. Okay, well then we're just gonna chloroform you and then we're gonna tie you up and then because it's That's easier for you count. to just roll up a new character. We decided. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I have so many Actually, that's not <laughs> true at all, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. No, I'm, honestly, I'm excited for this character arc. Like, it's going to be fun. See what happens. Yep. Yeah, I think these voided people, these cult people are the... Uh, Thing we're gonna have to well at least now we know where the headquarters are and how freaking outnumbered they're gonna be yeah, that was less than a thousand that's fine yeah it... okay that depends that depends <laughs> on like how like, <laughs> if you're just like level like zero peasants like running around like they yeah. have like five hit points probably most of them yeah yeah but that's one it... punch each. We'll be fine. Melis- it wasn't Melisandra. That's Game of Thrones. But uh, yeah, whoever her, their current leader is. Something like that. I'm so terrible at names. I know. I need to write these things down. When, but... when I, no, no, seriously. When I was in, um, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what the criminal would be. Here it would be, like, fourth grade. There was a pair of twins. They weren't even identical twins. They were fraternal twins. They're both uh, they're both girls. For like, I went to class with them for two years before I, I could remember who which was which. Oh, <laughs> that's how terrible the names I have. I am, and they were, like they look sort of alike, but not like nor like like they're fraternal twins, so like not more than like siblings in general. <laughs> I am terrible at names. It is the only thing I can't remember. There were these uh, two women that started the clinic at the same time, and for the long, for like a solid year, I got their names mixed up. Oh no! Uh, and they got so pissed at me every time. Like I'm so sorry. You look the same to me. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, to be fair, our brains evolved. You told me to this at least like the same race <laughs> and the same. No, no, they look nothing alike. Oh, I'm that's just a fucking no, idiot. No. Um, they both, they're both like brunettes. Like they were both brunettes, but that's about it. That's <laughs> were like their names I, I just similar? saw color. No, no. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, no. then now you have no excuse. My, like, <laughs> yeah, it was real bad. My, in my one of them was named Elizabeth, the other one was named Heather. Like, nowhere near. <laughs> this isn't like a Kristen and Kristen kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Like, this is like, no, you should <laughs> fucking know better. In my defense, the two twins I went to class with had sort of similar names. One was named Josephine, and the other one was named and well, Nicole. But like, Josephine, Josephine, and Nicolina in Danish. Oh, so. okay. Josephine, Nicolina, yeah. yeah that's so cute. Like, that's a cute. Those are cute. But also, I feel like if you have twins, don't name them something where um, it, there's like a theme <laughs> of their names. That's, that's, that's just weird. They're, they're two different people. That's weird. 
Well, my my wife's a twin. She, she didn't have an unawful family, so she's got a very different name than her twin sister. Uh, mm. Well, my um, nephews, my sister in law's name starts with C, and both the boys, well, they're almost men now, basically, but both men basically, um, their names start with C as well. And I just kind of felt bra- bad that my brother's like he's the first like it never got a look in. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> his first name starts with B, but no, it's just B C C C. No, no. Um, I had a, I used to date this girl back in college and she had a, she had a cousin. Well, she had an uncle who was named John brother or co- cousin who was named uh, John. So he was John jr. Okay. Um, and then another cousin, the, uh, the brother of John who was named John middle name. Also <laughs> John also John also. <laughs> It was just like, that's just cruel. Like, at that point, just come up with another day. Like, just get another day. That's funny. No, yeah, apparently you have to have all your kids named John. So, okay, name one. No, so, my uh, my sister worked as, like, a substitute teacher for a bit. For a bit, for quite a few years. One of her colleagues is a gay man, and him and his husband has to have the exact same name. Oh. Well, you know that there's actually a statistical thing that you can find that people um, who have the same first letter or sound of their first name are actually more likely to get married than having than other people. So like Amy and Andrew or, you know, whatever, Sarah and Sam. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Like there's just higher levels of marriage with people who have the same. It's It's not very much, you know, but. If you're named like uh, there is also like nominative nominative determinism. If you're named Baker as mm-hmm. last name, you're slightly more likely to become a Baker in like as a job. Yep. It's so weird. Um Yeah, like Hussein Bolt. He can run really fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chrissy uh, Ossidy. <laughs> like powered by your name. Um <laughs> Oh. All right. Uh, so, having learned everything there is to know about naming, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the shit we talk about when you're gone. <laughs> That's uh, this is nothing. So <laughs> you can go right ahead. I've had come back on some interesting discussions. <laughs> sure, we didn't count the amount of nipples we had this time. <laughs> I didn't roll dice for this, dip, nipple counts. I already, I already know that this is the this is no, no nothing compared to the tangents I've gone on on those on um, taking a look at. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're back on our mounts, and also shit scared that we're gonna be killed by a bunch of cultists. So uh, we're getting to move on. So you're moving pretty quick. Uh, you're moving through the night. Mm-hmm. Um, and because you went a little out of your way. Um, luckily you have an elk with you. Mm, very smart one. Thanks, Dave. Who is quite smart. So, uh, whoever is doing, who is doing sort of the, uh, getting you to Ankalon? Reverence. Thank you. Mm, Good? Sure. Definitely re- reverence and, f- and fair here. Mm-hmm. All right. So just, um, sure. just, uh, roll perception with advantage. Yeah, you guys, uh, you're able to make it there. You make it by sort of dawn the next morning. Uh, Everybody is going to take a point of exhaustion uh, for Uh riding hard through the night, including the animals. So you may want to bring them in, but you are now in sort of the wild but large... uh, town of Ancalon. And this is... These are city-states, right? Which is where you are. Leona doesn't have any one specific uh, government. Each of their large cities has its own sort of mini-government. Excuse me. They do get together at Asterinia, but it is... uh, they still also retain their own independence from one another and each other. Okay. Um, 
how, so, but how then, are independent? Like, are we talking like United States, like states versus federal, or like? No, more like think more about United. the think about Italy in the Middle Age in the Renaissance. Think about Florence. Okay, that, okay yeah, that makes sense. Okay, just, just to give have some kind of idea. Yeah, I mean, you're not an expert. Erasmus is not no. an expert on them, but he will he would know that much. This is sort of okay. common yeah. college stuff. Cool. I just like to get have some kind of idea. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Um. It is, uh, despite being early, there's, you know, a good amount of walking about. Well, uh, they're elves. They don't sleep much. Uh, mm-hmm. No. Um, mostly wood elves. This is a very uh, natural place, very rustic. These mm. are um, stone or wood buildings, still very beautifully built. They they still have that uh, that elven touch to everything here, but at the same time, it's it is a rustic place, not not a fancy place. Uh, I think at this point, if it's not woods, we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we should look for a place to stay and stable the horses and goat. Yeah, we yeah. should find a place to rest for the day. Mm-hmm. I have our animals rest because they're probably fucking exhausted. I am gonna give one of my carrots to uh, charcoal <laughs> and like pat them and say, "Good job." Like, thank, thank you for, uh, thank uh, you for, you for holding out, holding out throughout mm. the night. All right. Um. So, other, what are you looking for? What are you doing now? Well, before we go to bed, uh, Reverence, do you want to shop around to see if they have something for plate armor and maybe put in an order and we can go Are we staying here then? Well, we have to stay anyway to sleep. So if you could put in an order and cut out a day of creating the suit or modifying it in any way, it would be, they could work while we sleep. Be better. I'll look for an armor smith or a shop for armor. Okay. Um, so roll, uh, well, how are you going to look for it? Is that what I should say? Are you going to try to ask around? Yeah, I'll ask around. I'm absolutely going to ask random strangers. Listen for the (laughs) ding, ding, ding of a a blacksmith. Or ask Erasmus to sniff out, um... No, I'm not going to ask random strangers. (laughs) Do you speak Elvin? Um, I know Sylvan, Elven, Infernal, and Common, so yes. Oh, oh. all right. So, yeah, you're able to um, get your directions to the Mithril Mall. And <laughs> you it because of your accent. Uh, I have a really good accent. I would actually think that, that I speak Elven. Oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're really close to them. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. You're just making a stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, and... It is um, a wooden cabin, again, with several shuttered windows, moss-covered walls. Um, There are some shields hanging on the outer walls. Um, In the inside uh, is a vaulted ceiling. Um, And do you see... A bronze-skinned female elf. Uh, she has a scarf over her head. Very beautiful. Um, but with kind of a sharp features. Uh, and she's wearing sort of goggles over her mm-hmm. eyes, which appear to be deep violet. Mm. Um, and when you when you see the scarf, you kind of remember that this is even being uh, even being in sort of the most remote and the most laid back of all the city states. You know that there are some very proper uh, ideas about clothing and um, what people should wear, and you know. Uh, she looks up at you. She can tell by taking you in quickly that she, you're not from around here. Uh, and she nods and says, Dara Mr. Lath, can I help you? 
Your greetings. My name is Reverence. Um, I'm looking to purchase some full plate armor. Uh, she looks you over. This is all right. Uh, I know. Yeah, I can do that. Good enough. Uh, how much are you looking to spend? Whatever the cost of full plate armor is. <laughs> I uh, I walk up and like um, tap. Uh, well, reverence, I guess. I guess on the hip. That's the as high as I can reach. Um, I like. Hey, hey. I'm gonna attempt. Are, are you gonna lean down or? I <laughs> lean. You know what? Actually, I pick Erasmus up. <laughs> I will yeah. whisper to him. I can help with the fire. Maybe we can get a discount. Are you serious? <laughs> she just looks at you, the two of you and shakes her head. This is a, an adorable couple. Uh, so, uh, it's 750 gold pieces unless you want some sort of... Uh, special carvings or what have you um well could you um and i i describe like the symbols that i have on my own armor which is like the uh nature patterns that are that were the that was forged before mm -hmm. this is that same armor right yeah yeah, yeah. i mean she's looking yeah, at yeah, it right she's now, like, if you could get something similar in style that would be great uh, Eight hundred. If you can do a trade, mm -hmm. um, yeah. This is a masterful work, by the way. It was. Seems... I tell her the name of the door. If I'm sure I remember it, um, but okay. I don't remember it. Brett doesn't remember it. Um, hmm. but uh. Well, I don't uh, know much about the dwarves, but uh, if I ever run into him. I'll... Be very interested to bend his ear. It's good, good dwarven make. Yes, um, they do make a good armor. They do indeed. I was wondering if this could be traded in for some of the worth taken off, or the price taken off. Yeah. She looks at it and she says, "Well, it's. I mean, it is good work. And uh, what is it right now that you have?" I have splint, which is 200. Okay, splint is 200. Mm -hmm. She looks at it. She says, I'll give you, since it's special, 125 for it. Take 125 off. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's 800 for the special stuff minus 125, so you are down to 675 now. Yep. Says, yeah, this is how math works. Yes, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I've been practicing what with all the election stuff going on. <laughs> it's a lot of adding and subtracting and counting. <laughs> Base 270. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is, it's very unique. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, but anyway, uh, she shrugs and says, uh, take four days. Make it. Yeah, wonderful. Sure, absolutely. Uh, I'll give her the gold. Well, yeah, Elizabeth has got the purse. Elizabeth will give, oh, I didn't know Elizabeth. I just thought I was left alone to go do this. Oh, well, <laughs> no, no, we're just skulking. so that's five. Uh, you get, uh, Elspeth gets a look from her. Yeah, Bish, oh. what do you want? You want to go? You want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Did you say that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was so nervous for a moment. 
Just like, a look. She doesn't say yeah. anything. Maybe roll inside. <laughs> So yeah, she'll uh, she'll get out the money and like keep an eye on her as she hands quite a lot of money. You should have a smile on your face, lady. Um, but yep, she hands it over. She gets a nod. It's all right. Be done in four days. See you then. Thank you. And she goes back to work. Hey, uh, if you uh, if you need any help with the fire. I might I, I'm gone at this point. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to be there for whatever he's about to ask. I might be able to assist you. <laughs> Reverence and Erasmus, the two of you together are like the comedy gold. It's like a Laurel and Hardy of this adventure. It's a straight man and the <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she looks at you and Feel says, you're going to let me light you on fire? <laughs> That would be lovely, but that's not what I meant. Um, I don't need you're... help. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. You don't know what she's missing. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, I think we're going to need to find an inn, get some rest, and then we've got to track down the... Hopefully the word isn't spread too much about us um being dangerous we need to find the tritons who have become part of the cult all right well uh <clears throat> excuse me uh you after again asking around actually uh someone roll me a d6 go yeah Two. okay um so you are uh, directed eventually to uh, the sleeping room mm. where uh, a, a half elf woman is running the bar. And as you look around, you can you get the sense that you were directed to a place where half elves are. <laughs> oh right. Oh. <laughs> 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 we've got the half a, it's called the sleeping room but they're very friendly um yeah. and uh somebody waves at you and says oh hi hi come on in everybody uh i'm miali uh you guys look a beat you ha do you want food or room oh yes please all of that ah terrific terrific all right well um we, uh, how long are you planning on staying? At least four or five days. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, so I can give it to you, give you uh, one meal a day and a place to sleep for one gold per day each. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Sounds reasonable. All right. Uh, well, uh, why don't you, you can head right upstairs. So the meal of the day is usually either either a lunch at midday or uh, dinner. Either way. Uh, is, that, is that we take that money from the kitty? Or... Yeah, yeah. Like I'll slide her right. um, 20 gold. Just thank you. Uh, and let's see that she's, you look at her, try to do math. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poor view. And oh, cap. Yep, yep, yep. Great, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's a very um, happy, but a little blank looking. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, she helps you upstairs and uh, gives you uh, your. She gives two rooms. She ha didn't even ask. So you're not sure if that means um, that was what was offered, that was what was open, or she just assumed that that's yeah. what you wanted. That's fine. Um, and yeah, I mean it's uh, there's very finely crafted furniture inside, uh, some religious looking symbols on the walls. Uh, hmm. It's very cozy. And a big sort, uh, sort of like a 
rustic rag type rug on the floor. Okay. Yes. All right. Should we? Uh, yep. All get our heads down and get a nap, and uh, ref- and then get up, and we can do stuff in the evening. Have a look around. That sounds like a good idea. All right. Oh. All right. I think we'll, we'll stay awake. I'm not sure. Like we're gonna have a point of exhaustion for the rest of the day, regardless. Uh, we, need to, we need to rest and not do anything else for 24 hours to get. For 24 people. hours. Uh-huh. Wow. Is it 24 hours? I thought it was eight. Oh goodness. I'm pretty sure this. Is it? it up. Mm, I thought it was a long no, rest. a right. long rest reduces a creature's exhaustion point by one. Mm. So we just need to have a long rest and we will be fine. You can only have one long rest in 24 hours. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, right. Yeah. So, so yeah. Did you so, I mean. Since our last... Well, we rolled through no. the night. So, yeah. I would just think, like, yeah, we're going to be a little bit jet lagged. Yeah, but... we right had the morning and we went, went out in the morning. So, yeah, it has been 24 hours since we've yeah, been, been up. Time. Yeah, we've been up for, for a long time. Yeah. yeah. That's, how, that's how we got the exhaustion point. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's what, like, sometime in the early afternoon ish? Late morning? Oh, it's early. Uh, it's early morning because we went through all the night. Yeah. Hmm. We've been oh, through all that. Yeah, I, mean, um, I don't know. I don't, um, think, I don't think Blue wants to waste his time necessarily. Like, he'll take cat naps because it's what Blue does, but. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm I going we'll... to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> yes. I am gonna sit down, read my book of shadows, and burn. Uh, let's say three pages. Yeah, Elizabeth too is gonna crash out. Um, and then I thought um, we can maybe go in the early, at, late. Well, you know, if it ends up being like five or six o'clock, we could still walk around looking for leads yeah. on the elf or on the tritons. Do, are do we gonna want- continue playing, or are is this a wrap up? Uh, yeah, I thought, we, did we make that agreement when you were having a break? There was some discussion yeah. about wrapping up because we've been going for about three hours. I thought that yeah. was where one things thing, were going. One thing, I, one thing I do want to know is since I just burned three pages throughout the night, if that's, is the blessing going to affect that in any way? Is more if there's anything there we want to play through before we end? Mm, you can roll a, a wisdom check. Okay. That's a 15. You notice nothing. Okay, fair enough. I just wanted to make sure because that seems like something <laughs> that would be affected. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I'm good for stopping, so I, I think... Yeah, I think it's... New President might be doing a thing. Is that yeah, why we stopped? that was, yeah. yeah. People were thinking about checking that out, so... That seems fair. All right. That seems like a natural place to stop. We've done some traveling, some learned some stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So I will see you guys next week. Yeah. I'm so surprised that I cut this together. Oh. <laughs> yes, you did. You well, did. Well, most of us will see, hopefully see on Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, only a few oh, more yeah, days. we haven't done that in a while. Oh, shit. I got shit to get ready. We got a Fudge. big old battle. Siege <laughs> weapons and shit. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, goodness. I am not prepared. Well, I have to have a couple of days, right? <laughs> you said I'm going to have all this time <laughs> to prepare. I know, but I procrastinated. <laughs> That's all right. So, you know, oh, I know. I know the feeling. You oh, well, yeah, you have the rest of the day, tomorrow, Monday. Yeah. I have I have homework to do tomorrow, and it's the best homework I've ever had. Um, I have to watch uh, Black Panther. Oh, that oh. is good homework. That is my homework. See, I use it like um, I do some of my D and D planning. Off, I have one thing I want to say. <laughs> okay, well, before I go to sleep at night, I sort of like fall into the world of Waterdeep, and I kind of like play through what I think might happen, and like, oh, I should do that, and <laughs> think about that, and then I kind of drift off to sleep, and then later on, I make notes. Yeah, Elspeth is running the other game. <laughs> Very meta. That's, that's, yeah. that's my head cannon now. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so until next Saturday, guys, when we continue with our adventure and see if we get killed by the cult members, uh, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from the party. Say goodbye, party. Goodbye, goodbye party. party. <laughs> they did the bit. All right. Yeah, and we're off air.